For these notes, we're going to go over the equation of a circle. I will be explaining how to graph it and how to write the equation. So when we have the equation, the center of the circle will be given as h comma k from whatever's next to x, and the k will come from what's by the y. r squared would be the radius, so in order to find the radius, you would have to solve for r. When I take out the center, it would be a positive 1 and a negative 3. Positive 1 down 3, I put a dot for the center. My radius is in the spot of r squared, so I would square root it in order to take it out, and r would be a 1. Up 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, circle. So on this one, take out the center, it'd be a positive 4, positive 2, put a point. I square root that to find that the radius is a 3. 1, 2, 3, put a point. 1, 2, 3, put a point. 1, 2, 3, put a point. Put a point and draw your circle the best that you can. Negative 2, comma, positive 2 put your point. I square root this to take my radius out, which means r equals 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Draw your circle. On 4, I have a positive 1. That becomes a positive 1. Plot my center. My radius will be a 2. So I go up 2, over 2, down 2, over 2, circle. Now we're going to work backwards to make the equation. So I have x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. When I plug in this 9, it becomes a plus 9. This becomes a plus 8. 5 squared becomes 25. That should point over there. And that is your equation for the circle. x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. I plug this in, it's a positive 5 over 2. This would become a negative 139. And when I square this, 6 squared is 36. x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. Negative 5 goes in and becomes a positive 15. I mean 15, not 5. This 1 goes in and becomes a negative 1. When I square, those will cancel out and leave it as a 13. x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. 9 goes in by x, which would be a positive 9. 10 goes in by y, changes to a negative. 5 squared is 25. So when I put it in, I square it. When I take it out of the equation, I square root. I look for the center. The center is at 1 up 4. And my radius is 1. Then I can build. The 1 goes in by x, 4 goes in by y, the 1 squared would be 1. Center, my radius is 3, over 4, up 2, x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. The 4 drops in to minus 4, minus 2, 3 squared becomes 9 as it enters into the formula. Center of the circle is 3, negative 3. My radius is 1, 2, 3 x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. x goes next to the x, so negative 3, positive 3, 
3 squared becomes 9. Center is at 2, 4. Radius is 1. X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. The 2 goes next to the X, the 4 next to the Y. I square the radius to plug it in, and it's just a 1. And that is how you work with equations of circles.